So today's adventure in instant potting is my own homemade Greek yogurt. So I just put a whole gallon of uh, organic whole milk into my instant pot. And then I went ahead and touched yogurt and adjust to do the boiling. So I'm waiting for it to do the boil cycle. Once it does the boil cycle, uh, I'm supposed to check the temperature, which I have my handy dandy thermometer right here um, that I will stick in there and see if it's at 180 degrees, no higher than 185. And when it gets that far, we'll come back and uh, I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so this part took me a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, probably should have gone and got ready at the time. It actually took me <clears throat> probably 45 minutes for this. Um, and you can tell it's already starting to cool, but I went ahead and took my meat thermometer, um, clean, obviously, and put it in there. And uh, before I started the video, it was right at 180. I'm already down to 179. So... I have some other work that I'm going to do normally. I would put this in an ice bath and I would let this um, cool, but because I got something else I got to go do, I'm going to let this cool naturally down to 110 and then we'll come back and revisit it. Okay, so <laughs> finally brought my yogurt down to a temperature of 110 degrees. Um, I started just letting it do it naturally, got done with my other job, came in and put in some cool water, and um, now we're going to finish it up. Let's see if I can do this without making you all yuck. I don't have any help, so I'm trying to... Alright, so right here is my um, little cup of uh, warm yogurty pre-yogurt and I just have a container of non-fat Greek yogurt and the reason you have to do this is because you really need those cultures because um, your live cultures are what is going to make your yogurt um, proof process I don't know what you would actually call it so I'm just going to go ahead and scoop that right in there they say you only need about two tablespoons, but I I just use a cup. I mean, a cup, like a quick cup of yogurt. I'm going to stir that up like this. I guess you could probably use a whisk. Ah, making a mess. Just get it all combined in there. So I got my cultures to a happy place. Now I'm going to go ahead and just pour that into my yogurt, um, my big thing of yogurt. Mix that in. Combined. I'm wash it now. Ugh, made a mess. Can't stand messes. Now the one thing I have read is about this um, silver uh, actual pot being wet. So I'm going to bring a towel and carefully wipe off since I set it in water. Carefully wipe this off um, so it doesn't have any liquid. Trying to make sure also that I don't spill it everywhere. All right, and my camera person, hold on, my child, is going to follow me to the instant pot. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put that right in its proper place. 
put on our lid. So. Okay. And then we hit our yogurt button. Nope. Adjust to eight hours. Dang. That's a long time. And in eight hours, we'll revisit it. Okay, it's been a long eight hours. Uh, and the pot just stopped. So I'm going to go ahead and release the top. I'm a little nervous. Ah! Holy crap, I have yogurt. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Look at that. Wow. I'm Molly Homemaker. All right, so it's a little runny, as you can see. Um, and they say that you can keep it that way. But I'm going to strain mine so it becomes more like um, Greek yogurt. So I'm going to set that up. Give me just a second here. Okay, so I thought that I could use um, cheesecloth <laughs> to strain it. Sorry, this thing keeps going unfocused. Um, and that was an absolute fail. So instead, as you can see, I just made a mess. And I threw away the cheesecloth. So. Not sure what I'm going to do right now. Um, <sighs> things never work the way we anticipate, do they? Um, I have a couple of ideas. I'm thinking of putting a towel in a strainer and um, seeing how that works. I guess we'll see. And I'll be back with you in the morning to show you what it looks like. I guess I should have bought the nut bag. Apparently you can buy a nut bag that you can fit all of this in and hang it up. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look it up on you, um, I'm sorry, Amazon and um, try it again. But uh, I, the yogurt tastes great. It's just really runny. I guess I should show you that. It's like thick milk. So I really want to get rid of the whey to get that creamier texture. Well, we'll come back to this. Okay, so I don't have the nut bag. So what I decided to do instead was just take like my normal noodle strainer, put a cloth in it, and put the yogurt in. This actually created two. This is a lot of freaking yogurt. Um, so I went ahead and just put some plastic wrap over the top of it and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and hope that it drains. I guess what's the worst thing I do? I lost six bucks from throwing away the milk, but we'll revisit this in the morning. Okay, so it's 7.30 in the morning. I just got up out of bed. Um, got ready and came downstairs and I pulled these out of the refrigerator and oh yeah we got a lot thicker yogurt now yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and remove one of these wow this is amazing. <laughs> it actually worked. Wow, that is a lot of whey. Dang. I didn't think that much would actually come out of it. Sorry, my dog is barking. <clears throat> so let's look at the other one. Wow. This, this one as well has a ton of whey like a little bit of my yogurt escaped too but that's okay so um, I did see the lady on Pinterest kept this uh, she said you can do stuff with it 
I'm not going to. Um, my husband actually doesn't like whey. Um, it makes him sick to his stomach. So this yogurt should be perfect for him. The only thing I'm going to do with the yogurt is scoop it into a container and sweeten it um, uh, piece by piece with either some um, honey or maple syrup or jam actually if you just take jam and swirl it into it and as my girls told me a lady um, that they know that makes this puts in lemon curd and that's supposed to be pretty fantastic so here is our finished project this is definitely not for somebody who doesn't have a lot of time and um, a lot of patience so and possibly buy a nut bag first and there you have it instant pot yogurt